just put a cover over it so when you can trip over the bolt. Okay, we're okay. going to start. So, we're all set to start. Uh, so, November 25th, meeting of the Council Operations Committee. Uh, president is myself, uh, Chair, Council Member Conti. Also, President are Council Members Hoey and Igo, committee members, and Council Member Kimbrough. Uh, also present is uh, staff Michelle Andre, Danielle Gillespie, and uh, Bill Trudeau from the APD. Uh, we're here to discuss Ordinance 3710219, uh, which would establish uh, standards for honorary street, na actually honorary street namings or renamings. Namings, actually. It's, it's actually naming. Um, so, I'm going to just quick, I mean, the ordinance, uh, you know, the current process is a little bit loose, uh, and so, and the intention of the ordinance is to establish some uniform standards that can be followed for honorary street namings. Uh, it's similar to what a lot of other cities have done in terms of dealing with this issue to put in place kind of a uh, uniform process. So I'm going to just turn it over to uh, Council Member Kimbrough, who's the sponsor, if you wanted to say anything or review it or whatever. No, I mean, you laid it out. We, we have, um, I think you're being kind by saying loose process. We don't have a process, and we need to put one in place. Um, we had a lot of, probably in the last two years, a lot of signs yeah. went up. Um, with, no, no, in my opinion, no rhyme or reason. Um, and we want to... Be deliberate. It's it's meant to be an honor. It, you know, it's meant to honor folks. And the way we're going about it, I think uh, we should put more thought into it and, and lay out a process. Okay. I got a fast question on number two. Sure. The honoree must be a natural person, and no living individual shall be subject to a, of a designation. So we're going to make it that the honoree streets are for dead people. Oh, so uh, that's Bob can't be it. And okay, well, I understand that. So but that's, I mean, that's one of the questions we should right, consider, discuss if you want to do that or yeah. not. That's typical. Yeah. What a lot of other cities do is they do limit it to people who have been, who are deceased. Yeah. Uh, like but, that. you know, we can, you but, know. But right, and I, I think there are some instances where, you know, there, there'll be folks that have had such a great impact on the city that may still be with us that we might want to do it with. Um, I don't know. That. Yeah. Well, it happened with the president of Albany Met. Right, right. I would <laughs> good or bad impact. So. Correct. Right now, does every street rename has right? to come? To the Actually, right now, under the current process, uh, the council—I mean, those resolutions that we adopt don't are kind of established council intent or request to do something. Uh, it doesn't have to be done via a resolution. Uh, and names have been done without resolution. Uh, but ultimately, uh, their DGS does have kind of a very basic, loose application right. that really has not really doesn't have. We, we actually have it right you now. Have it? Right. It's it's it went, it's I go and they've been doing okay. it. It's in their lab. When the now, sign so. fabricator came back to APD, oh, okay, a few years ago. Yeah. So we under. we do it now. So it, it really there's really nothing in that application, and the mayor basically makes the decision. I mean, you want to talk about the process right now, Bill, or a little bit? I think you summed it up. <laughs> yeah, that, that's right. it. It's, it's, I think when he gets to you, it's it's it, a it done deal. It's either play, a you know. yay or nay. Right. From down, you know, in so, our chain, my chain of command. If we put this in place, then if somebody wants it, we would approve it, and then it goes to the mayor, or the mayor would ask us to approve it, or uh, no? I mean, this. So let's just no, quickly look at sure. this. Um, so. It establishes the intent, then it establishes a process for the council to evaluate and approve uh, dedications. Uh, so that in, in subsection B, the criteria it has some basic standards, um, you know, that the person has to be someone who's made a contribution, significant, etc. cetera. Uh, the uh, person is deceased. Uh, the name can't be considered derogatory, obscene, mm -hmm. or blasphemous. Uh, the designation is on that right of way in the vicinity where, you know, that person, we're honoring that person. Basically, it's a block. Um, it can't duplicate uh, or be contentiously confused with the name of an official city street. Um, and remember, these are not renaming streets. They're just yeah, It's underneath. Right. Yeah. Um, and it also provides that each council member can propose up to two dedications per calendar year. Um, 
I'm not sure why, because again, this, this uh, Jared, I think, drafted this based on some other ones. Uh, so I'm not sure what he meant by except in the cer certain circumstances where the naming is upon the request of the mayor. And that, the deal with that is you have a street in your area. Right. The mayor takes it upon herself to rename the street. It doesn't count, that wouldn't count against oh, okay. year two is what it's meant. We probably don't even really need that exception okay. in there. Yeah, this was also intended to apply to the mayor as well. Yeah, we should. Right. Um, yeah, and you know, problem. and that's when they, yeah. the mayor's office, they agree that they, it should apply to them as well. Okay, so. well then good, I would leave it then. Um, that was a publicity temporary, stunt right, that the temporary. county the wanted. We did. Well, we yeah, it. he. It came through. It came. It came through, through the process, but the current it, process. Yeah, and, and it was up there for about a couple a of month, weeks, a month. even a month. Oh, and it's down. And it's down. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah, it was just in connection with that concert to yes. generate more publicity from concert. And it has been done in the past that yeah. way too. Uh, right, and so we don't want to institute. Okay. We don't want to put any the temporary signs. We don't want to. No, do, I mean if it's a temporary it, sign, right, that's it just goes, you know, okay. Just we won't even address would that. Complicate things. Uh, the the council, in effect, would consider the street renamings based on the criteria that we set forth by yep. resolution. So now the resolution would adopt, um, would trigger it. Uh, the resolution would have to be acted upon within 60 days. Um, there's a, the pr application procedure. This is the part where I think we need to tighten it, where it says it will be submitted to in writing to the council. Maybe I'm going to say it's submitted to the city clerk. I think the clerk is. Uh, we just have to have a basic application um, so that it's submitted. Some of this language needs to be tightened, but basically, you know, it's submitted to the clerk. It gets on the agenda somehow. Um, there is a provision in here that if the resolution is adopted, um, then the party, so sometimes a uh, street renaming comes from, sure. a, it's initiated by a council member, or it could be coming from the community who approaches the you know, appropriate council member uh, to do it, or they can apply directly as well. Um, but there would be a provision here for the cost to be covered. Um, and that's something, you know, I don't know, Bill, what is, what, Typically, because we you, you usually do three signs. Yeah. Then, so for a single two-sided sign, yeah, it's a, between one hundred and twenty-five and one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. And it all depends upon the size. All right. So you would do ordinarily put erect two signs. We would put two signs up. Usually, so we're looking at three hundred dollars for. Okay. If we put two signs up. Two signs of the street stone. There. So a single sign. Two sided, right. and then so you have you two mean, intersections. So, okay. Unless it's a dead end. So, Unless it's a dead so end, and then we look at it. it two two sided signs. Two two sided signs right. is about three hundred. Wow. Two a one two sided signs is and again it's a range one twenty five to one fifty depending upon how long the thing gets. Mm -hmm. Is that what other cities do? Do we know? Or? Yeah, actually, uh, some do. This this does come from uh, what other cities did, or other yeah, not you know different ones do different things. So. Now, do you mm -hmm. do the real name on the same font size, or whatever, or if it's a real long name, do you have to make the sign with So the 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 actual street name, let's say New Scotland Avenue, so we talked about that. That's regulated by Federal Highway Administration. The font, the height. The spacing, that's all regulated. The color's not? We've done a lot the of The color black is regulated. And white, black and gold. There, yeah. Black and gold, can't do. There are specific colors in the vehicle and traffic law. Okay. The honorary ones are usually orange, aren't they? We put the honorary on the bottom because that word, yeah. it's an honorary. It's, um, yeah, yellow. It's in yellow, yellow. right now. Yellow, yellow with the black letters. Yeah. 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 We do, and we've been systematically replacing them with the signs that should be up yeah. in place. So I have one um, on Hamilton, which a long time ago was AME yeah. uh, for their for an anniversary they were having or whatever. I, I noticed, noticed recently the one on Hamilton and Lark had been replaced, and the AME uh, designation was taken was not included. But down on the other end at Dove, it is the old sign is there, which is in the gold. Mistake. It's not even on my list. I might want to rename that. It's not even on my list. Do you want to get Judy? And we're also joined uh, by Councilmember Deshay, also a committee member. Are your pins out there? Um, the remaining uh, subsection D basically sets forth the standards and uh, how the signs were erected, et cetera, which I would prefer. 
to the city on that one. So I wanted to ask you, Richard. Um, um, let's make sure I sure. covered everything. Yeah, there's also another provision in here oh. that the signs are valid for a period of 10 years, at which point they may be removed. That, you know, if you want to keep that, I don't, it doesn't make a difference, but that's something probably that was picked up from how some other city dealt with it. Now, if somebody paid for that sign, 300, would we offer it to them? If it comes down? I mean, <laughs> but, I mean, how do members feel about that? I mean, we could... I, yeah, I don't... I, I, I mean, you don't have to put a charge in there. There is a cost. Um, that's something else. So, so maybe we can strike that. So, Bill, I don't know if you had comments or suggestions or anything on this before we move on. Yeah, I think we just get to... I think uh, Bill, do we charge now for the signs? No. no. At least my office is not. I'd like a token amount. I'm serious. I don't. I think 300 is way, but you know, like a 20 dollars or something. It could be a you know what whatever the cost of administrative cost the, of processing application could be what you're dealing with. If it was approved, I don't want somebody to pay and then find out it's not approved. That That's sense. Yeah. so. Any, did you have any stuff on? In, um, on the oh, application. Wait. I'm sorry. The cost of processing the application is the cost. No, the co we were talking about it's between $125 to $150 a sign to produce. Right. So, and some cities charge. That's so, yeah. Right. The question is are we making folks pay for the sign or just the processing? Yeah. I just want, I, I'm open, so. So, but I want to get to Bill's comments before sure. we come back and no, I, I think whatever you have. Just, uh, and Kelly right. and I and spoke about it a couple things earlier, was, right. and we talked about this briefly. Uh, section C, both letters B and C refer to the Department of General Services for review and then um, fabrication. Right. And that would be APD, Traffic Engineering Division. Okay. Um, Cost, we, we're deferred to council on that. Um, you know, we, I provided the uh, fabrication cost, whatever you decide to charge. That's, that's labor and material. I'm sorry, sir. That includes labor and material. That's labor and materials, yeah, for us to fabricate. The labor to mount it? Labor to mount it is additional. I gave okay. it the labor to fabricate. Okay. Um, you know, to, to mount it, usually there's a, there's a piece of hardware. Um, which is not terribly expensive, about ten dollars. Yeah. Um, you know, but you got to go there with a lift. We go there. Well, we go there with ladders and, and whatnot, and you know, man hours. If you you look at it, it might be another hundred dollars for in, in total in labor for a two man crew to go and and put the signs up. So. Do you know how many we've done this last year, Bill? Um, in the last. year. Oh, is that what this last Less. sheet is? Yeah, oh, and I'm missing one on there. I, this is a list, and Richard pointed one out to me that I missed. But oh, there's like 35, 35, 36 of them, um, including, okay. including the uh, previously mentioned Jonas Brothers, which is down, and um, the Whalen Way for up at the golf course. And the family paid for that. The family paid for that. Wow. They insisted on paying for that, and they did. So it's very cool. He has a, a bench out there. Too. Yeah, I think he's, he's got the one down here. I, don't, I have no idea what that was. <clears throat> I tried some tenium. So you can this see is that... Best, this is to the best of my knowledge. Yeah, no, I got you. In 2018 and 2019, there was this huge spurt in signs. Oh, yes. In 2017... I mean, 2018 and 2019, so far, 2019, you had nine each, if you include the Jonas Brothers one, I guess. Okay. Uh, but otherwise, you know, We've really picked two up. in 2017, three, you know, these, it's all of a sudden it's really. Yeah, the new council, up. you can blame us. One, yeah, two, I do. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then this last one mm -hmm. would be 19. And previous we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, And jo um, Joyce has not gone up yet. You remember the one? We passed it a couple of meetings ago. Yeah. Still to so, shall we go through this and see if... I just got one question on the... Because, unfortunately, some of us get names. Like, my name, if you Google it, it's not good. But, um... <laughs> it's... It, urban slang, my name is not good. But, 
because it says here, proposals should be names could be reasonably considered derogatory, obscene, or blasphemous. Um, mm -hmm. You know, what happens if a person does have a weird name? And uh, I can give you, I don't want to, but there's names out there that, uh, and I know politicians like Gantt and Kuhlman's, there's a, a person, and you know, I don't know. That's what's on his birth certificate? I mean, I don't, you know, I think that's, Although we're talking about individuals, I guess this doesn't preclude um, for a entity that you might want to recognize. Like, you know, in my area, I have the AME churches, mm -hmm. uh, one of the, what we had recognized at one point. So it might be with regard to something like that, but if, I believe it's the actual name of a person. I don't, it's not likely that that, that would be triggered. But it's just kind of like a a fail-safe provision in there, just in case okay. you have a problem somewhere. I just, like, when things in the gray area, I just would hate for something years from now to come up. Okay. So, so um, I mean, the key things to look at, this does need this little tightening here or there, but we're talking about it having to be a deceased person. I don't have people... Okay with that one? I'm okay with that. Okay. Well, the, uh, the back is in. But then, the, then uh, B sub 4, mm -hmm. within the vicinity of the home, motivation, location, association with the home. Right. The bottom line, they can suggest that it should be up to the city, the council, or you know, whoever. I mean, can't just say, well, I put it here, but someone yeah. might not want to. I mean, it's likely you're going to do it on that block right. um, because that, that's where that person is associated. If that block had already has another honorary sign, uh, I don't know, we wouldn't do like double or triple honorary signs on one. I so you might want to do more than one. Yeah, so you might, in that case, you might want to do it in a different vicinity. But. Now, a couple of years ago, Carol Lockman's brother, she wanted to come up and they wanted like, I think they did. Swan Street. Yeah. Swan Street. Yeah. Street. No, there was no, it's six or seven different names. It's Swan Street, buddy. The block, the block, the block, the block. From is it from first to so, to uh, Livingston, uh, to Livingston, and then is that the Barry Sparks? That's the Willingham family way from North. Oh, Swan. there it is. There's Willingham. That whole group there. They have um, Nebraska Grace. That was, I think that was the first one we ever did. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. It's one of them. Well, Third Street. Third Street, yeah. I remember Nebraska Street. Yeah, that was the first one? That seemed like yesterday signs. we did that. <laughs> I think it was one oh, of Oh, I'm looking at the ending first. streets. Okay. Speaking of some signs, you know, I see the news nights when there's a shooting over or something. First Street, Second Street, and I see some signs. Now, I don't know if that's all filmed, but the, the signs are down like that. You know, We've been working on First, Second, that whole West Hill yeah, Arboretum area. area. I mean, at least there's no bullet holes. This is true. Well, going we, up, we have been we have been changing I mean, out. It's, you know, it's a shame to put up. I don't think we want to come up with a nice sign. We've got some sign there. That's, yeah. You know, they, they were so up. in that case, if we were putting a new sign up, the old one would come down. We have been concentrating um, better part of this year on the Arbor Hill, West Hill, first, second, uh, third, that whole area. We've been changing signs. They were really beat up pretty bad. So mm -hmm. we've been changing signs over State there. Street here, going up towards the Capitol, the, the signs are faded and yep. peeling. And That's not going to fade it. So, we're, we're, so where are we? I mean, I just want to keep focusing on it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know? We're working on faded signs. Reverend Good. Claire Murray Way is not on here. When was that done? Or was it? What street? I don't, I don't know. I think. My uh, guess is uh, like it was uh, Murray Way Street. So. Uh, it is Sheridan and I think Hawk. It might be Hawk or Swan. Okay, I'll look. There's a church. There. I may have missed. Is th this was the Jerusalem, best of my knowledge. The New Jerusalem Home yep. Save Church. Okay. Where Tom and I got married is there by the that Reverend. And we were married yeah. by the Reverend Claire Murray. If I missed it, we'll put it on here. I'll check it out. Judy, is that where your plaque is? Is that where your plaque is memorializing your wedding? <laughs> it is a very noteworthy event, and people are surprised. No, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I can't even count that high on the 
Any other questions on this? So if we so pass... I, oh, I, what about... What about you want to go so through it this just says each council member may propose up to two honorary dedications per calendar year. How about each council member and the mayor? Yeah, the mayor is supposed to be included in this. I think it'd be nice if the mayor would contact the councilman from the area. I mean, that's usually what happens, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. That but, well, did that's not, not true, happen with that's James not Barber, Barber Way, yeah, Barber, which right. is in yeah. my ward. Yeah, well, we yeah, just we the, talked about that. Well, it's also yeah. How about Mike Figlucci? It's, a, oh, it's, it's also, also got it's the most signs, signs too. It's like, yeah, now, Madison. I've represented the Figluchis yes. in that area for 22 years. And Judy, now we're saying they're going to be dead. Is there one? Oh, yeah, Mike Figlucci, yeah. Point, juniors, the whole, you know. So do we go, if people so, are... Most of them are right here. So where were we? <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm suggesting that six be revised to say each council member and the mayor, Ed and the mayor, may propose up to two honorary dedications per calendar year. Okay. Do we, is two kind of excessive? Now you're getting into Corey. What's a Corey guy? Well, he's I, not, I don't know. I mean, because he's not actually a council member is a defined term. He's not a council member. So I'm thinking one would be makes more sense to me. But that's me. One a year. One a year. Because and the bottom line is, I I can see some people will push back on you, but that's. But the thing is that if if I don't do any and somebody needs a second one, they can always come to me. And, well, that has to be written in here. I'll trade it. Why don't we just stay, stay with the two? I don't think we'll ever... Because uh, most members are not going to propose signs. Right, yes. Okay, so, so it does put, you know... I got a lot of catching up to do. Right. Right. Me too. So we're going to leave it at two, right? Can yeah. they... Can... I think it follows... Can we limit down. this to... Say something about the council member. It has to be in their ward, or have the consent of the ward member in whose ward it would be in. I like that. If you're going to keep it too, can we do that? So, what, approval of the mem of the the council member from the. Well, can each council member may propose up to two honorary designations? Dedications within their ward. Yes, within their ward. Well, then what happens so, with the mayor? Per calendar year, except in the. And now, Kelly, you explain what was meant by right. this exception the here. The exception was that the, when the mayor did one, it didn't count against the two for the council member. But Kelly also said that the mayor's office is in favor of this. So I think the mayor should reach out to the council member. Okay, so I will take out in the circumstance, except when the naming is upon the request of the mayor, in which case it shall not. So Father Lefebvre Way was done by the mayor, I presume. Yeah. Well, yeah. And that, that's in the third ward. Yeah, what? I know a lot yeah, of people make those suggestions, right? Straight away. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah, so your your question is Well it's an instance like that, okay? I mean I started that one say if the mayor didn't, okay, but it wasn't in my ward. There could be some things like that. And 
right. still need saying approval. They still need approval from with a count. Say in that case, okay, and say Father Bradley St. Mary's was in your your district. Right, it's Joyce's, right? So you're asking, would it go against Joyce's or would it go against yours or what? I mean, you know. Or do you wait till two years after to get something like that done? I, I don't you know. see, in that case, yeah, if it was the mayor initiated that, it wouldn't count against the council member right. who represented that. That's the intent right. what we're trying That's to do the here. Right. Yeah. Um, we could always ask the mayor. To help us too. But you also so wanted to put that. a limitation. No, she has more than two. Right? Um, she's only one you signed. You I wanted to, to yeah, put a have. limitation on what the mayor can do, right? <coughs> I'm sorry, I missed you. You wanted to put a limitation on what the mayor can do. And yeah. yeah, the same limitation we're to applying to ourselves. Two, I mean, she has I mean, a broader. Yeah, right, right, right. So, so numbers wise, how do we? Yeah. And and I did think of that because you know you have people flying in out of left field for every reason under the sun, and it's got a larger I, constituency. What about a so new, it makes sense to to allow for. You want to say four? Of course, we. Five. I don't know what there. Your thoughts, Jude. Four? No? <laughs> well, I, why should, I mean, really? So, in a four year term, the mayor can recommend in All right. 16. 16. I don't, I'm sorry. Can I, can we ask Bill? Bill, has the mayor, how many has the mayor over the years that, that you know of? Has she recommended, besides James Barber Way? they have a problem? I don't know because I, it comes down to the chain of command, and yeah. she's in my chain of command, so I can't tell you. Well, actually, I think she she, uh, she may. I, I don't think she always likes to be put in the position of having to do these. So, if she has a limitation on her, I think that would be helpful as well. Um, so, each council member. Oh come on! What? So each council member and the mayor. Yeah. Okay. Even it with two, because she can always ask the council member and the ward. Uh, may propose up to two honorary dedications. Now that we're on these, these are the types of memorials. I'll, 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 This needs a little right, finagling, but I'll work you on never something. Know, right? it's hard so to I, I would say each council member and the mayor may propose up to two honorary dedications per calendar year. That's what he wrote. Yeah. Right. And then, and then, um, but then, and then separately deal. With yeah, when proposed by the council it's member. Be in their yeah, ward. when proposed by a council member, it shall be within their ward. Mm -hmm. I can I can play with the language, and, and circulate some back around to people. Okay. Um, so we were okay with the uh, deceased provision. We were okay. With the other part, um, so this means this means that the Jonas brothers. Could it's gone. Be. Well, that was that. You know, that's a kind of something like it wasn't really a street renaming because it was only a very temporary thing. In connection with Danielle, you want to say something? Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Are you going to specify the fee in your legislation? Well, we haven't gotten to that yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, but the Jonas brothers, I don't even think it can't be covered here because it was more kind of like a publicity thing in connection with the concert. And why don't we just hang a piece of canvas here? Yeah. So it was a pretend rename. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, which, yeah. In which there was an actual sign put up. But it was taken down. Yeah. And it was taken down. Who paid for it? <laughs> you don't want to say McCoy? It. Can we send them a bill? We paid for it. The taxpayers paid for it. It generated a lot of tax revenue, sales tax That's revenue, right. because of the concert and everything else. All that publicity sort of And that they might come back. <laughs> so, in other words, this law doesn't apply if we can be bought. No. <laughs> I don't know how often we've done that, but it's, that was kind of an outlier. Yeah. Um, Who's the other one? Frank Sinatra? Who? Michael Bublé. Okay. Oh, we could do one with Michael We did. Well, he's coming back again, isn't he? I don't know. We're not doing it again. Okay. I don't know that. I, mean, I think he's coming back in March. Is he? Yeah. He is. You're right. Yeah. Um, okay. So we got that part. Um, that I think this B can be 
cleaned up a little bit, but basically the, uh, the designation will be pursuant to a resolution enacted by the council. Um, so then, re so requests shall be submitted in writing to the common council. So this sort of like is intended to be an application, I guess. So we're going to change that to clerk. Yeah, this is kind of is not really drafted all that well, but. It's a, it does say application procedure. Yeah, it does say that, but the wording is kind of clumsy. Do you, should we submit the application, should the staff application go to the city clerk? That's fine, because that's what um, Joyce Love did. I have her application okay. and her resolution, because the Department of General Services has a standing application yep. that they were using. So I could customize it. I, I draft it. I have something we can work on. Oh, okay. All right. So, well, do we do we do an application fee, or is it just uh, you pay for the sign? I'd say pay for the sign. I don't want to punish somebody if it doesn't get approved. I think. We ought to make it a refundable application fee for which is the cost of a sign that you don't even get to have your application considered unless we have the money in hand. Because I that makes sense if it's refundable. These are very difficult to administer oh. because I take cash and when they refund the fee to the constituent, they want to cut them a check and I have to provide them a ton of backup information to generate that. So I was looking at some other cities, and they have one city had a fifty dollar application fee that was non refundable. So I was thinking maybe if we went between twenty five for the hand and fifty, fifty is going to be Another city where um, they had an application fee plus you had to pay two hundred dollars for the sign in Illinois. I'm trying to look and see what New York City does. Yeah. So. Oh, New York City. $300 seems like a lot of that. Well, that's the cost of the sign, which we'll get down to, but... We're not even cost of installing it. Here's the thing. I, 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 I just got to say that this... That, that... That I don't... I'm not particularly in favor of encouraging this. Right, right. right. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk about that. Yeah, that would help. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, uh, you know, it, there's been a prol proliferation of signs, um, and I think that that proliferation of signs encourages more people to put in a request, and I think that it gets to be very awkward, even though we're putting in the criteria in here, it gets to be very awkward for us to be saying, no, you don't qualify, you're really... You know, and, and, and so for any individual council member to say, no, I'm not going to sponsor this, very awkward. So to establish other criteria, uh, you know, to, 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 you know. Okay. I mean, it makes uh, sense too. Good. People have, you know, headstones and, I mean, and, and frankly, when, it, you know, like we just did like a park, Bent, like a rain garden bench dedication mm -hmm. to somebody, and the neighborhood association, you know, paid for the plaque and um, you know, and, and got the approval. And I, f in some ways, I felt like that was more meaningful and appropriate than some of the street renamings that are not necessarily. Bench is a lot more expensive than a uh, sign. sign. Well, it's only oh, the oh, plaque. Sorry. But the plaque was probably, you know, my guess is the plaque cost over $200. Probably Even though it was nice and small and whatever. Yeah. Uh, well, it costs us money to, put, to do this. So it's costing right. the city. That's it. You know? The we're only still, thing we're that still I'm waiting to put, you know, the rest of the people's names on the tombstone for my, where my mother's buried, kind of thing, because of the the cost of it. I'd and like also, to and have, also because of certain dysfunctionality in my family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Now, Bill said, like, you know, if it's a dead end street, it's only going to have one sign. But if it's a regular, you know, street. So it'd be nice just to have one set fee to do this, whether it's a single sign or a double. I don't know if we could do, I don't know. I'm just trying to think, will this go through the council? I mean, it'll come out of committee, but will we get the council to vote for it? I want to try to make it as easy. So I'm thinking, like, could we do, like, a fee, like $200, you know, we'll cover it? The thing is, what, whatever members are. we talking are. about something, are we talking about, there's the application fee and then the cost of the signs. You're talking about oh, okay. one? We talking started about? talking about the application, then we said none, we can't do the nine signs. Okay. So, the so the application fee, fee would be twenty-five dollars. We want to try that. Twenty-five is fifty. I think fifty is not that bad. Um, but will it be like for the special events where if yeah. uh, the council member sponsors them, then we waive the fee? Oh. Because there's going to be oh. some people that may have made great contributions, but their family may not mm -hmm. be able to afford um, the application mm -hmm. fee. I like that. And there's the precedent this year all we done. Who's paid for it? Nobody. Who's what? Which ones? Well, they, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of them that we've done. I mean, oh, there's been no charge on 18 and 19. There's no charge. No, charge. charge. no that's yeah. what I'm saying. So yeah. we set the precedent. Now we're going to say, well, yeah. you did it here. Why don't we all of a sudden, you know? Because so it's, got, it's gone insane. Right. Right. Now we're, we're we've gonna gonna added a policy <coughs> or procedures for it so that. Yeah, I don't know how much when you have this, this new this process and application, anybody that's been an application, that's going to open up a floodgate of applications that are going to come into the city clerk's office. There's only going to be a certain number that can be done based on the limitations we place here. So if we're creating more work for the city clerk, um, we need to, you know, yeah. make some distinction. I think $50 is good. I do, too. Yeah. I agree with you. All right, I will... Tom, you just like said fifty dollars is good. Yeah, for the for application fee, but then we got to pay for the sign. I'm sorry. We should start at fifty You're because sitting. once members start pushing sorry, back, I didn't hear what you were saying. <laughs> right. Yeah. Manhattan adds a line where the person's contribution is defined by years, so they have ten years or more of a contrib right. contribution that benefited the city culturally, socially, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's someplace else too. Um, I think it's going to take more than one meeting to do this. Where would you like Bill Trudeau way? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I, I think we should be. Your be so proud of you. Uh, right not. outside I think we're okay. okay. Because unfortunately, yeah, just way, needs a little. Uh, uh, yeah, well, we might be. I'd right. like to push okay. it through. Okay. But okay. can we talk about how much we're going to charge yeah, for the sign? It's covered the cost and everything. I mean, let them. Um, the Apple for three hundred dollars for the yeah. signs. Yeah, it's fifty here. And Would that fifty come off, Danielle? Do we take fifty? So if the signs three hundred, they pay fifty applications. So are they going to end up having to pay three fifty? That's only if the council and the legislation determines that they have to pay for the sign. Yeah. So the only they only pay that if if we approve it. So if they submit the application, we don't approve it, or there's a limitation, then they're not going to, only if we approve it, then they'd have to deposit money to pay for the sign. And how much are we going to charge? Is that was the question Bill was saying, uh, per sign, About three it's 125 to 150, and if you're doing it at, you know, two intersections, we're talking about $300. So on the application, can we have one intersection or two, so we can tell them? We can what do... What would you like to limit it to one and... Uh, yeah, I mean, it can be... It's cleaner if you do a block. Yeah. Right. Well, it, ha it should be a block. It should be, so you don't want to, you know... So from both sides? Usually you do both ends of it. Right. Okay. If it was a dead end, we can put something in there, except in the case of a... Do we call those streets dead ends, or do we call them something else? Yeah, dead end. Okay. <laughs> there's I, a big yellow sign that says dead end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if there was some technical... Some countries but, that you know, no that. Yeah. <laughs> Or a cul-de-sac. Yeah. I don't know if a cul-de-sac is a dead end. Cul-de-sac's different, though. It's not a dead end. It's around. But it's there's only around. one side. I live right, right a dead end. only one side. House. And an island in the middle. Okay. Dead end kids. Um, okay, so... Uh, so, adult 300? Not to exceed uh, 300. 
And we're not charging, again, if this comes up during the regular council, we're not charging the installation. So what, actually, if we do that, if we say not to exceed 300, we're taking, the, in, a, in a sense, you're taking care of one sign would be Should we make that clear in the legislation, say, for, for everything? Somehow. And are we still dedicating, a, are we still giving a sign to the, the uh, family? <clears throat> That was something that was just done. I mean, it was just done. Yeah, it wasn't that. anything. It was something that just, and we've been doing it forever. Yeah. Oh, really? You make an extra sign and give it to the, family? It to the family? Well, we're not going to charge. And, yeah. and is that extra sign cost three hundred dollars, or is it less? No, it's, 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 it's one fifty, one twenty. It's one side. It's one side. It's probably even half of that. So it's. You know. I wouldn't include that because it's something that we're yeah. not requiring. It's we're just not requiring. That, yeah, it's I whether wouldn't. you're giving it to them or not. Yes. Yeah. So you're saying not to do it or do it. Putting the signs to. up. Yeah. See, so my feeling is if, if it's up for ten years, it comes down. I would give it to them. You know, that's fine. Okay, so we'll keep it up not to exceed three hundred dollars. Yeah. All right. Can I suggest that upon expiration of we change that to instead of sixty days, ninety days? Where, what where, is that? where are you? Oh, on the uh, last sentence in B. Yeah. Upon expiration of 60 days, what, what do you want to say? It's pretty fast for us sometimes. Okay, what do you want to say? 90. Okay, 90 days. Um, 90 days from the date of the submission okay. of the application. Then on the restrictions, I don't. that's all technical stuff. I don't think there's anything really there. The other part of this is... Um, on uh, the last section, last page on C. So we are providing that they be valid for only 10 years. Is everybody okay with that? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to pull them down after 10 years? Well, let me ask you this. Can we put down... Maybe removed by the city. Or yeah, can we make it to may? Removed. That's, that's the, you know, the sec that D was if they have to remove it. They can remove it prior to that. That was the intent there. By motion of the council? Uh, by resolution? Signs may be removed at any point as deemed necessary by motion of the city common well, council. So if you have somebody Which is good. I mean, Joe brought that up, the, that last one you're talking yeah. about. You, you have someone does some commit some heinous crime or whatever, uh -huh. yeah, or tied yeah. into it, and we need to... Or it's, it's found out they were... Crooks. The guy from... That didn't hang himself. Epstein. Right. Epstein. Epstein. Yeah, you find out it was him, and you want to remove it. Yeah, I think we'll we need that. Okay. Yeah. But what I'd like to can we get? He's exactly what I thought about when you said that. Say, take it down after ten years and forget it. Thanks, Mayor. See you later. Did he have an honorary street, or did he have no, a? He he's got the path. Mayor did. Mayor Whalen, Mayor Sheehan, whatever. Well, I wanted. Well, we have, for example, Jennings Way. Which is an actual legal street right. name. And Jennings Drive, which is that a would which street. that would not be changed because that's a legal street. That's a legal street name. It's only the honorary. I'd be, you would take that down in ten years, in other words. I'd like to have it on C. Can we add in unless re done if the council could do it again, like you know, vote to keep it up another ten years? Oh, to renew it. Yeah, renewal. Maybe removed by the city. Unless renewed by the council. Yeah, I'll, I, I mean, I'll put something in there. And I'll, I'll recirculate with some clean with the revisions. Unless extended I by. I go away. I like that. That's the way to go. I go away. I go away. I go away. So otherwise, people are fairly comfortable yeah. with this. Yeah, I'd like to make a motion that we move this out of committee with a favorable with amendments with amendments with, amendments, with a favorable uh, what's what's the term recommendation recommendation. recommendation. Uh, so I'll second second, that. second by so moved by Holly, seconded by by Doshe. So any further discussion on this Not tonight? No. 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 Okay. So. Great. I think that, yeah, so you're, we're oh, going to do the shade. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I will, uh, hey, you, take a vote. you know what I forgot to ask? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is adopted. You know what I forgot to ask you? What, which committee does this go, like, I want to name a street somebody. Does it go to? I think it'll go to council operations. Operations? Yeah, it makes okay. sense. 
do it all that I forgot way. to ask that, but that's right. great. I mean, it's up to the right. Do we put in president pro tem? Yeah. No, I mean that would be under our rule. It's up to the president pro tem, but I think yeah, logically no, it would go to operations. Sense. Yeah. All right. Uh, if there's no further business, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. So moved.